The Wild have established possession here early in this one as they win the draw. A chance in front, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Lots of time left in this period. We've still got zeros on the board. Off the front, he ties up his opponent. And he comes up with the save. Handles the pass at center. Slides the puck ahead to Michael. Quick pass to Johns. Answers the call with a big save. Miller's been showing more confidence in this game with that nice save. I mean, it was a tough one the other night when he got thrown out. Huge save right there to give him some confidence. It can be quite awkward when you come to a new team. You really don't know who anyone is. You kind of walk into the dressing room and you're trying to figure out where to sit and who you're sitting beside. But eventually, you know, the conversations start happening. You get comfortable in the room, then you get comfortable on the ice. But you want to make that first impression. You want to send a clear message to your coach. I'm here to work. That's something you can control. The Flames gain the zone. Oh, and that doesn't go well. Knocked away. Here's a short pass to Dubé. And he slides it quickly to Coleman. The Wild have taken control of the puck. Passes it over to Koivu. Picked up along the boards by Silverberg. Fires it. Here's a shot. And there's a glove save on the play. Feeds the puck to Coleman. Oh, no way to brace yourself for that hit. You want to send a message to your opponent early in the game, and that early delivery of a bone-crushing hit, that does just that. Shot! Long jam in front, that's broken up. Picks it up! Here we go! Great glove save! More than half the period left to play. Still looking for our first goal. Calgary's got possession here in their own end. Quick feed to Zeri. Nice zone entry from the right side. Dumps it into the ozone. Rocks him on the play. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. Minnesota's got the puck in the defensive end. Takes the feed into the middle now. First pass leads to the offense. That's a great one. Shot right in front. And he gets just enough of it to keep it out from the back of the net. How many times have we seen this save before from him, James? I mean, he loves the butterfly position. He's real mobile in his crease, and he makes the save. Here's a shot. That's gloved by Miller. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Officials have got both teams ready, and it looks like play is set to resume here. Minnesota's won the faceoff. Reaches out and uses the stick. Gains the zone along the right wall. Dumps the puck in. Can't hang on to the puck after taking a knock. Moves it quickly over to Mangiapane. And he gets in front of that. Now he slides it up to Johns. Lugs the puck into the offensive zone corner. Calgary's got a hold of it against the wall. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. The Wild have taken possession in their own end. Feeds it over to Johns. Into the corner now. Chance in front. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. And they cough it up at center. Bufflin's moving the puck through his own zone. Looks to pass it to Kadri. Good stand-up hit. Minnesota's got it against the boards. Shot! Blocker save! In the game of hockey, you know that your opponent is told to attack and drive the net and really get in the eyes of the defender. And for the goaltender, it's really important when there's a lot of traffic in front to make sure they have their eyes. So without battling, out working your opponent for those sight lines, he does an impressive job of making that save. Big time hit along the boards, and there's no give there. Well, there is from up here, just bone crushing, separating body from puck. 
Well, prior to the opening face-off tonight, it was a moment that this young man won't ever forget, Cheryl, the inaugural rookie lap. The rookie lap and the spotlight is on him, and he knows it right before he steps on the ice. All of the veterans stop. They know what they're waiting for. They've been there. They've done that. And that feeling, the nervous energy, you know, the belief from the time they were a young child that they could get there, all the hard work and the sacrifice, with likely their family in the building, just an amazing moment. You've got to soak it all in. Along the half wall with the puck. Slick feed. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. He looks deep to Silverberg. Shot! What an opportunity! And it just climbed over the net there. I thought it was in. But he Reception is also about the pass itself here, James. And when you have a great pass, you're able to handle it. You can get it off quickly. Minnesota's finding another level here in the back half of the first, now up by one. Well, they're playing their brand of hockey, aren't they, James? I mean, they've been so competitive, and it would look like this is a pretty tight game, but it's not when you look at the shot selection and the shot share. They have just dominated in terms of having the majority of shots on net. Dumps it in. Minnesota's got the puck. Puck moved over to Vanek. He's had a lot of offensive zone possession time, and you got to figure he knows he's one goal away from his next milestone. Came up with a nice save. This is a dialed-in goaltender, very aware, knows where the shooter is in that low slot, and makes the save. And he takes the pass. Oh, and he lays a thunderous hit there. Moves it to the middle. and body position how to roll off your coverage and it's perfectly executed as he doesn't have much time to get the one timer off but he gets his stick available and he executes here in the late goings of the period you can feel the energy in this crowd it's a tie game puck is dropped play resumes drills him Sequence. I mean, he has been outstanding making consecutive saves. I mean, his defense, they got to start playing. And look at this. They've turned this offensive end into a pressure cooker. Oh, what a hit there. Moves it to champion. Drives to the sweet spot. Stoles him in front. Teams are lined up, and we are ready to take this draw. Minnesota's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. Some fragile timing here, James, at the end of the period. It's a close game. The peak airs have to get to work. They can get some rest in the intermission, and they can start the next period. Minnesota's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Johns drives right to the front of the net, trying to create a screen. They have to start getting pucks through as he's in that net front spot. That's off a stick. Minnesota's got possession of the puck. Johns plays it against the boards. Puts it off the outside of the frame. With a chance to go ahead and a huge opportunity right there. It's going to go off of the pipe and out. Vanek's taking it from his own end. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Clearing attempt. Oh, absolutely rocks them. He's a 
power forward, and part of his Good game is delivery and executing hits. Well, he certainly did there. Big save right at the end. Series recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. There you go, period number one is done. We're gonna come back in just a quick moment with period number two, stay with us. for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Granlin's won the face-off, and now let's see what they can do. Quick shot, and that doesn't reach the net. And they move the puck out of harm's way. Locks him. There's another for the hit parade. Oh, tried to pick his corner and puts it off the outside of the post. Minnesota's been battling this entire game, and it's been back and forth and still tied. They were looking to get the go-ahead goal there with that good look, but it goes off the pipe. They are really starting to apply the pressure here in the offensive end. Oh, and the puck can't connect, and they'll have to clear the zone. Johns carries the puck in his own zone. Dubé's almost out of the box. Picked up along the wall by Johns. Oh, what a save on the slapper! Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Offense is on face off and he wins the draw. Oh, and he stopped that rocket! Puck ready to drop here any moment to get things underway again. Koivu's won the draw. Here's a short pass to Kane. Hammers a shot. He scores! Well, hands, fans, and four mitts on that play. Magic mitts, James. And you know, it is so difficult to bend when you pull the puck in tight to your... ...all the way around, textbook. But we all know that he's got great hands, James. The way the puck moves on his stick, it's like on a string, but it's also his awareness, the way he scans and how he knows how to manipulate and create space for himself. That's how he gets himself to the net, and then he finishes it off by beating the goaltender. Koivu's won it. Takes the feed. Oh, he'll feel that one. Great little puck check by the goaltender there. Makes the save. Oh, stopped it. What a save. Let's face it, you have to want to win puck battles, James, and you gotta want to win those 50-50 ones in particular where you know that you gotta be determined and tough on the puck. He does just that, and it leads to the eventual goal. Minnesota's extended the lead to two here in the second. And I think they need to continue to play desperate. Don't sit back, there's a lot of runway left. Continue to take control of the game. Koivu's won the draw inside the neutral zone. They'll go to work offensively here. Moves the puck. Minnesota's ready to go on the attack. Quick shot! With the stop! We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Minnesota's got the lead here early in this second period. Their offense has been clicking at all cylinders thus far. And they win the offensive zone face-off, and here we go. The 
Coughlin's been brought down, and we're going to get a penalty here. There's the whistle. Let's get the official decision. Well, the official is right there to make the call, and no question about it, it's tripping. Anytime you take someone's feet out from under them, you're going to head to the box for two. Minnesota's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. Gotta stick with the game plan here, James. On a power play, you have to have quick puck movement. It gets the coverage moving, and it opens up that one-timer. And they get that puck down the ice. And now he tries to get it across to Granlin. Calgary's gained possession. Rocked him in the open ice. Sends it out in front. Great defensive hits up play to pick it off. The Wild have taken possession along the wall. Moved. He's got a stop. Scores! Wait a minute. Did you bring a crystal ball here? I think I did, didn't I, James? But they executed this perfectly. I mean, the flank's on there offside, and they just get that delivery cross crease pass right in the wheelhouse, and they carry it home. Some goalies have cat like reflexes, and tonight he's just a little slower, James, to get across, and unfortunately it hits him. He doesn't get all of it, and it winds up in the back of the net. Minnesota's had that magic touch tonight, Cheryl. Sometimes when you get up in a game, James, it's easy to get complacent and just hold the puck, stop attacking, but not tonight. They're not. The entire bench, the lineup, such an offensive threat. Line one, right through line four. They've been a wave tonight. Quick feed to Michael. Good hit on the play. Redirected in front. Scores! Deuces wild as that's his second of the game. Well, he's got two tallies on the score sheet, James, but I love this game off the puck as well. I think that he's had a hard nose on the forecheck. He's hounded it, he's hunted it, and guess what? He's been rewarded for his efforts. The Wild have come to play in a big way tonight. Yeah, right from puck drop too, James. I mean, just the urgency around that initial opening face-off. They've been quicker all game long, and it's reflective on the scoreboard. Minnesota's got possession of the puck after that neutral zone face-off. Blocked in front. The Wild have it now. Makes the save with the Trapper. Champion's been on fire lately. Everything he throws at the net seems to be going in. When it's working for you, you gotta be confident. You feel like nothing can go wrong. Minnesota's been the more aggressive team offensively. Look at the shot block and just look at the score. And that goes off the player. Moves it quickly over to Granlin. Here's a chance behind the net. Unloads one. Here's a shot. Glove save. Minnesota's had the better scoring opportunities and lots of them, which is why they lead in a big way here in the second. And off the draw, they win possession. The Flames are on the attack. Oh, he'll feel all of that after this one. Taken by Pelsier. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. Sends it into the offensive zone. Sends it over to Pelsier. Grabbed along the board by Backlund. And smacks the puck out of midair. Sends the pass over. Moves it to Granlin. He got all of that one. There he is. Stopped by Miller. Oh, he's one of the best in the game in terms of that butterfly position. And once he drops, he's so all alone. What a save on the play. Of this deep trying to outweigh the goaltender, real patient, real composed, but guess what? So is the goal who makes the save. Backlund's the leader of this team, James. They're getting blown out right now. You gotta look at it as a game within a game, winning this offensive zone faceoff and trying to get a quick punch on net. Puck scooped up by Prosser. Takes the feed, moving in. To the front! Great save from in tight. The goaltender is very aware of where that puck is in that low slot area and defends his crease by getting out, being aggressive, and taking away any of the net. Takes the pass. On target! Sometimes there's pressure on players when they get into that prime time scoring area, and because of it, they rush the shot, and I think that happened right there. The Flames will play it in their own end. 
and he takes the feed and lowers the boom with a big time hit. Oh, this is a message sending hit, isn't it? When you get all of your opponent and you're able to separate the body from Puck, you know you've done your job. Message oh, delivered. As a power forward in the game, you go north-south, and guess what? You deliver bone-crushing hits, just like that one. The Flames move the puck in the defensive zone. Here they come on the attack. Quick pass to Manjapani. And he was ready for that save. Chris said a quiet night, James. He's been watching most of the game from the other end because of the offensive nature of his team tonight. But man, does he make a nice save there. And that's showing that he's emotionally engaged. He's staying prepared even though he hasn't been busy. No room for that one to get through. Taken along the wall by Johns. Here's a short pass to Niskanen. They gain the zone from the left side. To the low slot. Oh, what a paddle save on the play. Hammers it on net. Another stop by the goaltender. Minnesota's dominated right from the start. Their offense clicking on all cylinders, and they lead here in the second. Calgary's got the win off that draw. Along the side, here they come for the neutral zone. Bufflin's got it along the boards. There's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Into the attacking area from the left side. Minnesota's got the puck along the boards. Hollandville's crossed the line and is on the attack now. Puts it on net. Love save made by Miller. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Minnesota's coaches were preaching lots of shots on net, and they have done it and lead as a result here in the second. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. The Flames have it behind the net. Poked away in the neutral zone. Fires it into the offensive zone. Oh, he rocked him! Calgary's had a tough time finding any momentum in this game. They're beaten in... That's his first of the year! Now, Kevin, anyone says, James, when you get on the score sheet, there's a little bit of relief that sets in. Your sick gets a little bit lighter, and you play a little freer. I love the way they were able to execute on this odd man rush. James really used the ice to their advantage, manipulating their opponent, the ice that they did have, and then they were able to capitalize when the shot came their way. Calgary's got to find a way to build on this now. This is the time. It certainly is, James, and that's something to build off when you get a goal. You can't sit idly by like you have all game. You have to find a way to execute and create some momentum and more offense if they want to get back in the game. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Oh, and he gets a piece of the puck to deny them there. Quick feed to Vanek. Picked off by Peltier. They put the puck into the offensive end. Good reach of the stick to knock the puck away. Battling for it along the boards. Picked off. Tried to be too cute on the pass. That goes off a twig. Minnesota's got him from behind the net. Niskanen's got a hold of the puck behind the net. And now he moves it quickly to Panic. Swap up. And less than a minute to go here. Tracking pucks and making huge saves like that one right there, right from the slot. Great reflex on display tonight on his part. Too much congestion in front. There are four seconds. All right, we've played now 40 minutes in this one, and still a critical 20 minutes still needs to be played. Go stretch your legs, grab that final snack, because the third period is just around the corner. Welcome back. James Sabalski ready to bring you all the play-by-play. -play. It's been a total mismatch here as we get underway for the third. Let's see if anything changes. Well, with two periods played, Pounder, your thoughts? Calgary's dug themselves a hole through two periods of play, James, simply because they haven't managed the puck. in first plays, which has created turnovers, and they haven't been able to generate any offense at all.
Minnesota's on total cruise control early in this third period. Off the face off, they take the puck. Minnesota's moving it along the wing. And a little body contact on that play. Forces the turnover in the neutral zone. Minnesota's been so impressive tonight. They're stealing pucks. They're finding ways to put them in. And it's been a blowout. Coach has got to be impressed. And he slides it quickly to Kadri. Puck is scooped up here inside the offensive zone by Lindholm. Looking to set up offensively. And look at that. Wait, hang on a second here. I do not think that this is going to count. The official waved it off immediately. Oh, boy. Face-off coming up here, and they certainly look hungry to answer back after that non-goal call. Locks them up on the draw as they take possession. Haynes made a fantastic play, James, and he's falling to the ice. He's got the puck on his stick. He still has the ability to lower that bottom hand and find a way to redirect the puck to the net. I mean, that's tenacity. That's courage in finding a way to compete and will your way to the net. There's the collision, and look who's hit again. Well, he's been a punching bag tonight, James. He's going to have to find a way to get out of the way. Moving into the attacking zone. Good battle along the boards for the puck. Kane's been so dangerous tonight. He's got two in the game. You know he's looking for the Hattie. He's the puck. Miller's got the puck, and he's going to hang on. We're still in the early stages of this period. Minnesota's really put the squeeze on here now, up by three. Nice job tying up his opponent. What a trying to shake loose. He's in! Stones him on the breakaway. Looks to get the puck over to Panic. Passes the puck over to Graylin. And he can't hang on after that hit. Delayed penalty coming up here by the official. Whistle blown, stopping the play. You can play aggressive, but you gotta walk the edge. This is an undisciplined penalty, and it's gonna be a two-minute minor. It's the first penalty kill for this team tonight, guys. And we know their unit is ranked towards the bottom of the league, but this team's confidence can sometimes overpower the skill that they show. So let's see what they can get going here right now. Here's an opportunity to clear the zone. And he's able to move the puck across the blue line and out of harm's way. Takes it into the slot. Great save by the goaltender on that redirect. Well, that's a picture-perfect save, James. It's getting to position and getting square to the puck, and the only way it happens, if he reads the play. Moves it quickly over to Colton. Oh, what a save in front. The goaltender's at the last line of defense for a reason, and this time, he bails his team out. Taken along the wall by Colby. Moves it to Lindholm. Oh, good out of the play! Wow! Oh, that's a true competitor save. Just when you think that he's completely out of it, James, he comes across with a desperation save to keep his team alive. Grandland's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And they get the puck out. Sends a pass over. Calgary's on the attack. Here's a pass down low. Let's go! the coverage, you open up the middle of the ice and then you get a glorious shot chance and you capitalize. Excellent work. Calgary's got one back, but Cheryl, they need more. They need more and they're going to have to pay the price to get to the paint, the most coveted spot on the ice, fight through traffic and find a way to get the puck to the net. Fires it on net! Official blows the play dead as the puck goes out of bounds.
Still lots of time left in the period. Calgary's got to find a way to get a few more goals here as they still trail by a pair. Minnesota's won the faceoff deep in their own end. Quick pass to Champion. Crisp's a competitor, and he is not afraid to compete for every single putt and outwill and outbattle his opponent. And that highlight reel save, it is something, James, because just when you think it's almost in, he finds a way to get to that puck. Such an athletic goaltender. Minnesota's got the edge in the shot department, a big reason why they lead here in this third period. And now he angles it across to Tube. Sends the pass in front, and he denies that great opportunity there. Both teams readying here for the face-off. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Moves the puck along the half wall. The Wild have possession now. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Coleman's got him along the wing. Gives them nothing in front. Jostles for the puck, but still hangs on. Tried to get 2Q with it and loses possession. He's got such a slick set of hands. He's trying to manipulate his opponent one by one, but he tries one too many, James, and he loses the puck. Here's a short pass to Champion. And we've got an offside with a face-off looming. The Blackhawks are in the on-deck circle on the schedule, and I'll tell you what, it's a big game for both teams coming up, and that'll be a good one. I hope you'll be there. You know we will. Minnesota's come up with possession after that neutral zone draw. I don't think anybody was hanging onto the puck after that hit. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Gets the puck over to Vanek. Now a quick pass to Granlin. A quick save. Good hit. Here's a chance on the attack. And that pass goes off a stick. Break away. Oh, denies him on the play. Uh, and this is a great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. Tonight, it's our own Carlin Babe. Silverberg's had the upper hand in this battle, guys. His scoring prowess was on display, and it's a big reason why I'm giving him the edge here. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Scores! He did it! 500 goals! What a remarkable achievement, James, to hit 500 goals throughout his career. And you got to imagine the number of sellies that he's taken. just knows his role is to win those 50-50 puck battles, and he does just that. He hounds, he's relentless, and that puck retrieval, it leads to the goal. The Wild have to be pleased with their effort here. They continue to attack offensively in the third. This is a feel-good game, James, and you have to embrace these type of games. They don't always happen when everyone's got it working for themselves. They're communicating, they've got good habits, and they're filling the net. And it's a quick pass to Kane. And that caroms off a body in the lane. A pass in front, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Minnesota's showing no signs of slowing down here in this third period of big time. Takes possession off the draw. Down the left wing and into the offensive zone. Quick feed to Kadri. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Minnesota's been on a roll all night long, and they continue to lead in the third. And they take possession after the defensive zone faceoff. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Look at that hit. Maybe try to wear down the opponents here. Calgary's got the puck in their own. Good 
good use of the body to knock them off the puck. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. Calgary's got it along the wall. Directs it on over to Lindgren. And a good solid hit on that play. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck. And he slides it quickly to Michael. Pokes it away in his own end. Takes the feed. Oh, a huge hit against the wall. And you know they felt that one. Well, and that's a tone setter. That's sending a message to every player on your team. Get involved physically. Pay the price. Use your body and get the puck. Moves it quickly over to Sari. Just wide. The Wild have gained control of the puck along the wall. Big play inside the defensive zone. And now he moves into Rizicho. On the attack along the boards. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Johns. Here they come on the attack. The Flames look to start the transition game. Oh, he rocked him on the floor. Oh, you know that he felt that one, James. The body is reverberating after it. What a great hit. They've got some momentum here. the middle. Here they come. Calgary's got the puck along the wall. Moves it. Oh, what a save on the play! Oh, that's such an athletic save, James. I mean, that's just all about competing, finding a way to get to the puck. Minnesota's looking to break out. Scooped up along the wall by Scandella. Here they come. Save there as play continues. Minnesota's up big time here in the late stages of this third period. And they win the offensive zone faceoff. Now let's see if they can capitalize. Oh, big time hit along the wall. And he hangs on just as time runs out. And there it is. Kane's hat trick leads the way en route to victory tonight. Yeah, he got himself in good position, didn't he? He's a pure goal scorer, and he didn't disappoint tonight. Well, and that brings a fun night of hockey to a conclusion, and we will say goodbye. She's Cheryl Pounder. My name is James Sabalski. Thanks for joining us from all of us here at EA Sports. Good night.